Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can use VBA to easily and quickly indent your data. So indenting is just moving to the right your information. You could do that uh, with uh, this over here, right? You could increase indent, decrease indent. But Sometimes you want to do it for a lot of rows, and sometimes you want to do it very quickly. And it's not always the same indent between the rows, so you can't always select all of them. And what you see here in the, uh, in the, in the sheet that I'm sharing, you have the original data, and then you have the result after indenting. And you can see that I have a helping column called indent level, where I define what is the level of indent that I want starting with one which is the first level and when you click on the button basically you get the results so if I now change this let's say I put five and five for these it will move if I put this back to three it will move back so this is done with a simple VBA code that I want to share with you and it looks like this okay so um, here I'm declaring the variables. I have three long variables and one integer. Then I'm using the application screen updating false. That just is speeds, write that down, speeds up the code. I really recommend that you start your macro, your code with application.screen updating false and finish with true. This just means that Excel does not um, change the screen while the, the code is working and this always speeds up the process. Then I'm defining the location of the column to indent, in this case column number two. Gap, which eventually you may want to set a zero because um, this is going to be where uh, how far out from the column that you select will be the column that you have the results in. So. You don't have to uh, have this. You could set a zero if you want to do it on the same column. Last row, as this name is bringing you the last row for column number one. So, because I want this to be dynamic, so if I add store uh, B, and let's say put that as three, so I want that also to be part of my code. So I'm using the last row. This is a, a ready-made function that uses the uh, uh, that returns the last row for the uh, specific column. In this case, column number one. So you can change that number to wherever you want to match your needs. Then I have a loop. Basically, um, I'm going line by line, and I'm starting at line number two through the last row, and I'm declaring. The cell, the cell that I'm going to use with uh, using with, and then just going to have a few uh, functions working on that selected cell. So with cells I, as in the row that I'm in, column as in the column of my data plus the gap. So this will bring me to column G. So this is my uh, cell that I'm working on, and a simple if if I, I'm using the simple if just so I want to bold. Uh, the first level, the highest level. So I'm using if cells i this column, column number one equals one, then dot font dot bold for that cell equals true. Next step, I'm assigning the value to be identical to the value in the data column. Um, if you're doing it for the same column, this this uh, line is not required, but here it is. And eventually the indent level, this is how I set it up, dot indent level equals cell i1 uh, one, minus 1. The reason I'm using the minus 1 is because for level 1 I want it to start at, all the way to the left. That's the end of the width, and this is the end of the 4, where I'm adding another um, one to the loop. Next line, I'm assigning auto fit to the columns. This helps the table to look better 
and the last line is application dot screen updating equals true that just um, returns to default Excel that will update whenever you make changes that's it I hope you enjoyed um, this content if you did please hit that subscribe button as I'm um, publishing content regularly make sure you like and share and I'm happy to hear your comments so please don't be a stranger and write them have a good day now.